sip of this and smiles. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So obviously uh, since you've read the title, I'm going to be talking about the Disney character audition experience and kind of what to expect and I'm drawing from my own character audition experience. So if you're thinking about going to a character audition for Disney and you're trying to prepare and you're not really sure what to expect, hopefully this video will help you out a little bit. But before we get into today's video, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in the corner so that you can be notified when I post new videos. I'm only going to be talking about the regular character performer auditions today. There are other types of auditions with Disney, but today we are just going to be focusing and talking about basic character auditions. So the first kind of tip I can give you is definitely get there early. On the audition sites, it says to get there about 30 minutes before auditions are set to start. I got there about 45 minutes early when I did my audition and there was already a line out the door, but I think I was only number like 23. So being there hours ahead of time probably isn't necessary. Also the fact that whether you're number four or 67, you're still going to get a fair shot to audition. It's just you're farther back in the line. Tip number two, it's gonna be a long day. These auditions usually hold a lot of people and they have to get through all these people. So bring snacks, bring little granola bars, bring a banana, bring an apple. Nothing heavy because you will be dancing and moving and you might get overheated because there's a lot of people in the room. So nothing that's gonna make you feel sick, but definitely enough to keep you going throughout the day and bring lots of water. Third tip, wear dance attire. Not like a leotard or anything, but wear stuff that's movable and easy to dance and move in, but also, you know, does accentuate and make you look nice. This is not a do full hair and makeup and put on a dress and high heels kind of audition. This is a dance audition. They are gonna be looking at you and looking at your face and your hair and the shape of your body, but if you're showing up to this audition, in high heels and a dress or jeans and a blouse, you may have come to the wrong audition. So dress in some nice looking, easy to move in clothing. So now for the audition. I believe now they don't have you filling the forms out when you get there. I believe it's something you do on the website beforehand. So make sure to do that. When you get there, they're going to take your picture and they're going to measure you. They'll have you take your shoes off too, so you can't lie about your height. And then they give you a number and they tell you to just go wait in the big audition room with everyone else. They measure you because the costumes for face characters and for the fur characters are all by height. So if they're looking to fill certain character roles that day, they're looking for good performers between this height and this height and that's it. So something to keep in mind with that is that if nothing comes of the audition, it doesn't mean you did bad. You could have killed it, crushed it, blown them away. But unfortunately, at this audition, they don't have any roles to fill with your height range. It, a lot of the time, has nothing to do with you, and they don't particularly always tell you what characters they're looking to fill. So that could be where you fall short or too tall. So then there's gonna be a peppy little Disney recruiter or two that come in and talk about what it's, you know, what it means to be a Disney character performer and work for Disney and blah, 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 and give you the whole spiel. So then the peppy little choreographer comes in and introduces herself or himself and they teach a very simple, um, it's like a 216 count little dance bit. And this is usually the very easy one. It's like, you know, jazz squares, grapevines, little three point turns, and you know, little simple stuff. Then they will have everyone be in groups of like four down a line. So they'll put you in little lines of four to five people. Then they'll put another row of four to five and another and another and it'll kind of wrap around and they'll kind of just have you moving and walking. So the panel is down front and they just play the music and they have everyone go through the little routine 
um, walking towards them and smiling. Other side note, smiling and being very energetic is good news for working in Disney, always. Once they get through all the rows, that's it. And they'll sit and talk for a few minutes, um, everyone on the panel will. And then the choreographer will stand up and she will call out a bunch of numbers. And these numbers that she has called out are the people who are being asked to stay and move on to the second part of the audition. And everyone who did not get called is asked to leave. You have been cut. After everyone who's been cut has left, the choreographer will teach everyone about Disney character performer animation. This is the ability to communicate a story or a thought using your body language. So they'll, they'll kind of teach you and give you some examples and let you practice. And it'll be things like plant a tree or wash a dog, which were the two that I had when I did my audition. So you just have to basically get creative. Basically, you just want to convey this story to the panel. You want the panel to be able to watch what you're doing and be like, Oh yeah, she's planting a tree. You want your movements to be very energetic, very big, very animated. And then once they think you've got the animation part covered, they will move on and teach everyone a more complex dance routine. This one's generally a little bit longer. They do like six to eight counts of 16. They go through this kind of quickly. So if you are not the best dancer, this might be a little bit complicated. The dance itself isn't too bad, it's just a little bit more complex than the first one. If you are a dancer or you're used to going to dance auditions, this shouldn't be too crazy. Then they will break you down again into groups of four or five and they will call up your group and they will have you do the routine. They'll get par part of the way through the routine and then they will say, okay, stop, plant a tree and you're supposed to stop dancing and then you plant the tree and then they will go okay and five six seven eight and you'll start dancing again and go back into the routine and then they'll go okay everybody wash your dog and then you're washing a dog and then they'll go and five six seven eight and you will start dancing again and it's um it seems a little chaotic but my advice is to keep up best you can if you are not a dancer. Keep smiling and keep your energy level up and you should make it through just fine. And then that's really it. They'll usually kind of tell everybody, okay, we're done for the day. Sometimes they'll call out a handful of numbers and those people are just asked to stay for just a little bit longer. They may have gotten noticed for a face character or for something that they're in desperate need of right now and they stood out. There's so many people at these auditions and they're usually always looking for something really specific. So if you don't get asked to stay, if you do get cut after the first round, don't get discouraged. Keep going back. Keep trying. You never know. The next time you go, they could be looking for your height range and your skill set. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope this video is helpful to somebody who is trying to prepare for a Disney audition and is nervous and doesn't know what to expect. If, if there are any questions that anybody has that I didn't go over in this video, uh, please feel free to comment down below or tweet at me. The links to my social media will be in the description box down below. I'm always happy to answer any questions and help out if I can. So with that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.